everybody. This is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited tonight. I'm going for overall win number 987, and I am back in the great city where I used to live from 2008 to 2013, Kansas City, Missouri. We've got lots of people here tonight, which is much appreciated. I am here for the first time at Strips Chicken, this actual location in Waldo of the Kansas City, Missouri area, the Waldo area, it just opened in February earlier this year. The original location of Strips Chicken is in Olathe, Kansas, where I actually used to work. I spent, I think, two or three years living on the Kansas side of Kansas City, too. But I'm the first person to take on and help kick off their brand new Big Piggy Challenge. Now, they have so much food on the menu here at Strips Chicken, but for this one, this is an actual menu item, but this one is supersized for the challenge. It is their Big Piggy Tenderloin Sandwich. There's no bread buns on this thing. The buns are two pork tenderloin patties or cutlets, whatever you wanna call them. And I'm excited to try this breading that's on these because one third of it is actually crushed pretzels. So, but loaded on this sandwich, there's a full pound of barbecued pulled pork, which they actually smoke, I think, for 13 hours at the Olathe, Kansas location, then they bring it here. But then on top, there's also bacon. There is about a pound of fried onion straws. And then, I don't think I've had this either, but there's a whole bunch of strawberry barbecue sauce. So we've got all this here. We've also got a massive, supersized, large portion of their loaded white chicken chili cheese fries. So we've got a whole bunch of their fries, but then it's topped with shredded cheese, a whole big portion of white chicken chili. It's been a while since I've had that. And then it's all topped with jalapenos. And then over here, I'm excited for these. They've got donuts. These are their cookies and cream donuts. There's six in an order, but I've got two, so one dozen total. They're topped with, I think, the frosting and then a whole bunch of Oreos. But I've only got 30 minutes to finish everything here. If I fail, it's gonna be $35. But if I win, I'll get my meal free. I will get a sweet t-shirt and I'll be the first person with my name and photo on this location's wall of fame. Let's get this challenge started. All right, had a couple challenges with pork tenderloin in Iowa, so let's try the Kansas City version, but big thank you to Todd and everybody here, all the whole team with Strips Chicken, both locations, this challenge from now on, moving forward is available, but please call ahead and schedule it so they can be ready, because the food is amazing, it's becoming a lot more popular, they might be busy, so let's shut up and eat, starting with this massive pile of pork. So, one, two, three, Boom! All right, I'm just gonna eat this top one first. That is delish. The top one was good. There's pickles on here too, I forgot about that. Oh, all right, deep breath. We're five minutes in, 25 minutes to go. I was kind of freaking out about the time limit for a minute there. 
30 minutes is not much time to eat all this, so we've got to shut up and eat. And absolutely shut up. This sandwich deserves to be savored and enjoyed. Eight minutes and four seconds in, done with the sandwich. You can definitely taste the pretzel in the uh, breading. That was yummy. All right, fries time. I'm like trying to molly my food and just swallow it without chewing, but I can't. Everything that I have today is made from scratch other than the fries. Oh, and it is amazing. That chili's good, Todd. Is that your recipe? All right. This is not a low carb challenge. <laughs> 11 minutes in, we're gonna get it. It's like six pounds of food. And uh, it was looking easy sitting here on the table, but now that I'm actually biting into it all, ooh, it is a challenge, that's for sure. I was looking at everybody's food before I started, though, and they do have some big portions here. I'm hurrying through the food so I can enjoy dessert. I don't want to smash those all and chase them with water. Ooh, yesterday's challenge was really easy, which doesn't help the next day. Oh, but I had a good hour and 46 minute bike ride today, so. My bike called me fat yesterday. My seat broke, so I had to go get a new one today. <laughs> My butt is apparently too big. This will not be my last time eating here. This is amazing. And I'm sure it's even better when you chew 27 times and enjoy it. <laughs> 15 minutes, 54 seconds in. I'm even using muggle-sized utensils. No uh, big spoon today. That was delicious, just like that sandwich. They have so much on their menu, and like I said, everything is pretty much made from scratch, including these donuts. And then it's frosting, or what's on it? Marshmallow cream. Let's dominate. Ooh, done with half of them, 20 minutes and 35 seconds. There's like nine other topping options I could have gone with, but they wanted me to do cookies and cream, so let's get the other six down. These are Oreos as well, not off-brand or anything like that. I have. challenge like that before with pork tenderloin buns and that was like six pounds of food but the new record to beat 22 minutes and nine seconds I wish
wish I had done it in 29 minutes because that would have given me more time to enjoy that delicious big piggy sandwich. And I really did enjoy the pretzels as part of the breading. The white chicken chili cheese fries, that's my first time having white chicken chili on fries as part of a food challenge. My mother makes really good white chicken chili, so it was good to have that. And then I really enjoyed the donuts. I'm sure all the other options are great too, but 22 minutes, nine seconds. I'm going to get the $35 meal for free. Yes, they're also going to give me a sweet t-shirt, which, appreciate that. All right. We've got their logo, strips, chicken strips, and pork burgers, but the back says, Best chicken strips, lunch, cheap eats, and gluten-free in Kansas City. It was overall win number 987 for me. Thank you guys all for being here. And then if you're not interested in trying the challenge, get here to one of their two locations anyway, because that food was amazing. So thank you to Todd and his staff. I've got a couple more challenges coming up around the Kansas City area the next few days, a few on the Kansas side too. But thank you guys for watching.